Hey guys, Qvamster here with a new video. Um, I had some technical difficulties last night, not with my internet or with Minecraft, but just getting this thing to work. What I just built was harder than doing the 14th floor elevator. Um, yeah, let's just get to it. Um, it's a revisit of my old combination lock. I've been really eager to do it over again from scratch. So, uh, it is a combination lock with 32 million different combinations. The first color you enter is uh, uh, orange right, then red left. It's adjustable, of course, the, the combination. Um, the next one is white left. Basically, you stop it and then you set the direction you want it to register. And the little light indicates that it is uh, red. The, the color then the fourth color I enter is blue right and actually blue right again so you can fast send in the same color again and technically yeah there we go it is giving me a uh, diamond block so let's get that now I don't really have anything to place back though so I don't know I'm just gonna place that back and Say you wanted to uh, lock it again, just flip the lever and it doesn't really matter at this point. Whatever color you enter should reset the circuit and then uh, store it away again. But I mean, you could hook this up to anything. You could hook this up to a door. I chose to have a hidden diamond block. Um, so in total, just summarizing, it uses all the 16 colors uh, in the color wheel. And it also takes the direction into account. So you could have green left, but you could also have green right, giving a total of 32 colors. And it's sequential, so you have to do one color after the other one. So you can't, you cannot just enter the, the last color. Uh, but yeah, basically the redstone uh, device uh, takes all that into account, and that gives you, uh, yeah, 32 times 32 times 32 times 32 times 32 different combinations which is roughly 33 million combinations so uh, it's a bit over the top and yeah it gave me lots of headaches but I suggest we just go outside and uh, have a look at the thing okay here we are outside at the device you see the input mechanism at the bottom left which is 5 times 8 times 12 and then the main body with the, the feed tape the decoder and the RS knowledge array uh, which is 10 by 12 by 12 interesting fact in this build uh, if you take like not the spacing of the the room but like just the the, the redstone and the wiring and stuff um, then the amount of air blocks is actually less than 30 percent in the build and pretty much all the all the redstone blocks you see are 100 percent necessary debugging however was like unimaginably painful um it's it it it's it's quite small and debugging this took me three times as long as debugging the 14th floor elevator so it sort of gives you an idea like yesterday um like before i uploaded this video um me and phil's minecraft he uh, he helped me out a bit with the debugging which was awesome having an extra set of eyes um was just <laughs> constantly fixing one issue then breaking something else again and it was like not we it wasn't like um three hours of staring and trying to find why it wasn't working it was like no it was like oh wait there's something wrong here uh oh we fixed that oh wait now something else breaks what the hell's going on here and like the weirdest i've never seen like the weirdest piston behavior um i, I might actually be able to show it because it's still it still sort of acts weird now um Let's change the direction. Let's see if it's no. This direction is not the issue. I think it's the other direction. Um, oh, it's interesting. Like I, I rotated it 90 degrees on the disorientation. It doesn't have the issue. But basically, what I've been having is pistons firing twice as one as fast as the ones next to them, which is really really weird. But um, yeah, the whole thing. Um, I'll do a separate video going a bit more into depth and that video will also show you how you can set your own combination because uh, I mean it's hardwired in the in the in the thing but you can easily 
you can easily change it. Um, let me just reset it because it was set. Basically, this uh, cyan circuit is uh, the output. Normally, it's turned on, but when it's activated, it's turned off. So all you need is a torch, and that will basically be your output. So yeah, that's the whole thing. Um, if you want to know how you could wire this up uh, and like how you could set your own combination, um, I'll put a, a link in the, like an annotation showing uh, like the next video where you can see how you uh, how you can change it. Not that hard. Uh, I'll put an MC schematic in the description of the video. The download link will be on Planet Minecraft. Diamonds are much appreciated. And um, yeah, I guess I'll also upload this to Reddit and uh, see what Reddit thinks. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.